Today I'm going to share with you how you could easily make millions of coins as a beginner player on FC Mobile. So assuming you've already completed the kickoff challenge, you'll then be able to do the different live events. And the first way to make money is by completing these live events. For example, here with the kickoff, once you complete these four matches, you will get a final reward where you can earn up to 37.5 million coins now of course you're not going to get that every single time but i have done this once already and i think i got a few hundred thousand coins which is incredible for this game considering most good players are only 5 to 10 million now of course there's two other events that you could get coins from the first one being new teams here in this section and the other one being new goals but for the amount of coins you're getting i wouldn't put too much energy into them I would just complete them as you go. Now doing these live events isn't only for the rewards that are in them because if you go over to quests here, there will be many different quests that you could complete and earn coins from just by playing those live events. For example, here at the bottom, the main event, I got 10,000 coins just for playing one skill game or one match in the live events. And when I completed all five of these quests, I also got another pack that had 5,000 coins in it. And the amount of coins you get increased depending on the difficulty of these quests. For example, here on the bottom, quest master, I got 50k just because I was able to complete the daily quests two times through. But within the quest, there's one that is by far the best out of them all, which is doing these daily quests. As you can see, there are daily rewards and weekly rewards. These packs, of course, I claimed all the daily but these packs give you a bunch of star pass credits and gems. And the reason why that's so important is because the star pass itself will give you tons of coins. Now, I already completed mine, but if we go all the way back here to the very beginning, right away, you can get 100k, 20k, 10k, and it keeps going 20k, 10k. You can get hundreds of thousands of coins out of this star pass. So getting as many star pass credits as possible is a great way to make coins. But of course, those events and those quests will also give you decent players, meaning that you could build up a fairly good team. And once you have that, you could then head over to head to head and verse attack and play some matches here. And for every time that you increase your ranking on those sections, you will actually be rewarded with some coins. For example, here, if I reach pro two on verse attack, I'll get 200,000 coins. And if I reach pro two on head to head, I will get 200 grand as well. Now I have got rewards for every level leading up to this. So in total, I've probably got close to a million coins just from ranking up in head to head and verse attack. And when you rank up your team, you'll also get things like upgrade a player's skill to level one, get 5,000 coins. And there's a few other rewards that you could get there just by training players and other things like that. But finally, there's one more great way to make coins. It's by far the best way to make coins. And that is once you have a good enough team, you don't really need reserves. As you can see here, I have my squad, but I don't really need substitutions, at least not yet, which means I could then sell on my extra players, which is exactly what I've done. Once you unlock the market, you could go over here, go into my players, and then list up players that you would like to sell. Now, because the market is global this year, it means every player on the game is going to the same exchange, meaning the demand for cards is astronomically high. And because now at the beginning of the game, there's not many ways to get players or to really rank up your team without spending FIFA points, people are now going to buy players off the market, meaning their prices are skyrocketing. So here, even an 84 rated player, as you can see, I obviously have him on my team, so I'm not going to sell him, but there are 169 people trying to buy him for 725,000 coins. I packed this player out of like a simple reward pack going throughout the live events. 720k for doing a skill game or a match is a great way to make coins. And of course, if you were lucky enough to be a foot founder, you got the rewards from the last season. Players like Rio Ferdinand, which I packed in my foot founder pack, go for 3 million, which of course I'm going to keep them right now, but this would be great ways to make coins. And I've actually sold off many players and it's allowed me to purchase a big player that I don't want to show yet. It's going to be for another video, but I have purchased someone for 8.5 million. So I did have about 9 million coins before this video. And one final thing I do want to mention is if you want to get some extra players to sell off, go over to the welcome player exchange. As you can see here, I already did my two. I think I packed a 76 and like an 81 rated out of these two. You exchange four lower rated cards and you get a 75 to 89 rated, which as we saw, 
can go upwards of millions of coins. So make sure you take advantage of this when it refreshes every day. Anyways, those are the easiest ways to make coins. As a beginner, I hope this video helped. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.